In this lesson, we're going to use a one gallon plastic storage bag as a closed system so that we can measure carbon dioxide and water levels in the air around spinach leaves. The first thing we want to do is open the plastic storage bag, swish it around to get it full of the room air, and then place our detector inside. Once our detector is inside, we want to seal up the bag. Right now, I'm just using the, the zipper on the bag to seal it, but you could also use um, chip clips or binder clips or clothes pins. Any of that would work. We're going to leave this empty bag sitting for about five minutes so it can stabilize and we can take an average reading for carbon dioxide and water for the air inside the bag. So while it's stabilizing, let's talk about our spinach leaves. We're going to use store-bought loose leaf spinach and to make it easy to get in and out of the bag, I just made a little tray out of some aluminum foil. You could also make it out of a piece of cardboard or heavy cardstock paper. We're going to place our leaves on this tray and we want to arrange them so that they're not overlapping too much so we can maximize the area that will be irradiated by our hydroponic grow light. When you're choosing spinach leaves from your bag or clamshell that you got from the grocery store, you wanna choose leaves that lay relatively flat and leaves that are relatively undamaged. Leaves with lots of damage tend to do more cellular respiration than photosynthesis, and that would skew our results. So now I'm just gonna finish laying these leaves on here, and voila, my leaves are ready to go. Another thing I wanna mention about the experimental setup is that in order to maximize photosynthesis, we want as much light as possible directed on the leaves. So I've placed the bag and the detector right under our hydroponic grow lamp. Also, the distance between the table surface and the face of the hydroponic grow light is about six inches. After five minutes, we can take our stabilized readings for carbon dioxide and water, and then we're ready to place the tray of leaves inside the bag. Quickly open up the bag and carefully slide your leaves inside the bag without disturbing them too much and then reseal the bag. At this point you can start your timer so you'll be ready to take readings at five and ten minutes. What we're looking for is a drop in carbon dioxide level of about 50 ppm within five minutes.